Here's everything new in iOS 13.4 Beta 1. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. Today we are talking about iOS 13.4. The first developer beta has been released. So the developer beta, not the public beta. The public beta will likely follow in a day or so for those who are in the public beta program, but for developers, that is out right now. So what is new with iOS 13.4? Well, so far there are a couple big changes that you're going to want to take note of. First, developers can now list apps on the App Store that work across everything, iOS, iPadOS, and macOS, and sell them as a single bundle, which means if you wanna buy an app that works across the board, you can do that with one single purchase instead of having to buy an iPhone app uh, that is bundled with an iPad app and then buy a Mac app as well. So now one app will work across all three of your devices uh, the developer supports that. So a new feature for developers coming out. Another new feature is going to be for folders inside of iCloud Drive. So if you go into the Files app, go to iCloud Drive and then choose a folder, you can now add people to this. So this was a feature promised with iOS 13. It was there for a bit, then removed, and now it looks like it is finally back. So what this means, you can add additional people to this drive and share it kind of like Dropbox or Google Drive. Share that folder with them and all of its contents. Very easy to do, you can share it through a link to a specific person or however you choose to do it. iOS 13.4 contains a huge new feature that no one was expecting, and that is Car Key. Car Key is a new feature coming to iOS and Apple Watch that allows you to lock and unlock your car using your iPhone and Apple Watch, as well as even start it and drive it around. You can even share NFC car keys so you could maybe send it to your family member to get into your car or lock it or if they forgot something in there. There's a lot of applications in here so we're really excited to see where car key goes. And right now there is very little information. This is a new feature. No one was really expecting it so we don't know all that much yet other than what's been able to be gleaned from the iOS update. So stay tuned to Apple Insider as we gain more information as we hear from Apple. We'll be sure to keep you updated all that and follow along with the links down below in the description if you're really excited about car key as well. So what else is new this time around? There are new call controls and third-party navigation options inside of CarPlay. We have additional keyboard shortcuts that work in photos for iPadOS that you can switch between tabs, create albums, and search. There are also minor tweaks to the TV app, including family sharing inside of the library tab. Fans of Memoji may be excited to know there are nine new Memoji styles or sticker styles here with iOS 13.4. So that's pretty much it. That is what we've found thus far with iOS 13.4 in the first beta, but this is always a non-exhaustive list. There's always a ton of bug changes that are fixed and a bunch of other things that we may not pick up on. So I'd love to hear what you guys think. Let me know down below in the comments or on Twitter if you find anything else new in iPad OS 13.4 or iOS 13.4, and we'll be sure to add them to the included article that's linked down below in the description and we'll give you a little shout out. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next beta. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.